The UTN is available as either a close-coupled or long-coupled option and is lined in either PTFE, carbon, ceramic or silicon carbide. Our patented lining technology makes them one of the most robust and longest-lasting lined mag drive pumps on the market. To strip this pump down, we firstly need to ensure that it is clean and free from all contaminants. Then remove all the nuts from around the casing. Turning the pump on its end makes access to the nuts much easier. Remove the casing. If there is no motor on the pump, the isolation shell and isolation shell cover may remain within the casing, so we would advise you use caution as there will be pressure on the shaft which runs through the impeller assembly. Remove the isolation shell cover. When you remove the isolation shell, use caution as there will be pressure on the impeller resting on the shaft. You then remove the impeller assembly from the isolation shell, again using caution as the front axial thrust may come away with it. Remove the shaft from the isolation shell. This will quite possibly be very firmly placed in due to the anti-rotation element and remove the rear axial thrust. Inside the impeller is the rotating bush which can be removed if needed. Please note that when putting the isolation shell back into the isolation shell cover, the grooves on the cover match up with the grooves on the isolation shell. On the shaft there is an anti-rotation element, which you will see is the square edging which marries up to the anti-rotation area in the back of the isolation shell. The axial thrusts, like the smaller STN pumps, have grooves in them which need to face in towards the centre of the impeller assembly. These grooves assist with the flow of liquids for lubrication and cooling. In the front of the casing of the UTN is the suction cover. This is the wear part of the pump. So if there are any problems with the pump, it will damage this part rather than the casing itself. This is locked into place when assembled by rotating it. So to remove, you must rotate it in the opposite direction and then push from the front. This can be a very stiff element to get out so sometimes a bit of gentle persuasion from the front is necessary. To rebuild the UTN mag drive pump, you start by replacing the suction cover. This is pushed forward and then rotated clockwise until it locks into place. Next, replace the isolation shell and isolation shell cover, making sure it locates into place. Place one axial thrust on the rear of the shaft, ensuring that the anti-rotation is in place and that the grooves are facing into the impeller assembly. The square element at the back of the shaft fits into the square element in the isolation shell. Again, with new parts this can be a very snug fit, so you need to place it in and try and rotate it to make sure it's seated properly. Once that is in place, lower the impeller assembly down onto the axial thrust. We urge that you use caution, as you don't want to drop it. 
the front axial thrust is then put in place, again ensuring that the anti-rotation is in order and the slots are facing inwards. The casing is then lifted into place, ensuring the O-ring is placed correctly. We advise replacing the O-ring during any repair or service. And then it's a case of replacing all the nuts and washers. When tightening the nuts and bolts, Ensure to tighten across the pump and not rotational and to the correct torque settings which will be in the manual.